here's what it's showing me. I don't need to know much of this. Forget the top three, really. I just need to know that my pages wind up here uh, for my own archive copies. They wind up there in time date stamp folders, and I even created a shortcut to that on my desktop so I can always have immediate access, you know, to whatever it is that I'm putting out there. Okay. Now, and I have different folders for different stacks or runs for different things. But anyway, you don't need to know any of that. All you need to know is this domain name, mojisamples.com. That's where we're going to want to put these pages. In this case, if we wanted to put them somewhere else, we would change that domain name right here by typing over it. And then a project. We need a project because we're always putting different projects up. Well, this is a Zeek Rewards project, and I'm doing for these different phrases. I like this one the best. Best business opportunity. Uh, again, not a lot of competition on the front page of Google, believe it or not. Now, when I paste it in, make sure not to have spaces. You can't have spaces in length, so use dashes. No stray spaces at the end and no capital letters. Okay, That's all you need to know about that. Just the whole thing without any spaces and no capital letters, and that's the way it should be. Now, I'm going to copy this because I want to also put it here for the FTP. You need to know the FTP access information for whatever website because this is going to use that to upload the pages for you. Okay, So I'm just going to paste it here and just make sure it matches. If I accidentally got two slashes, I get rid of one of them. If I accidentally got a space, I get rid of the space. Okay, Just make sure that whatever you saw here matches that. Okay, That's all you needed to know really. When you open this, the only thing you had to concern yourself with was what to name the project folder and just make sure it shows up in both places. The only other thing to know, how many pages do you want to generate? Well, when you're first running it, may as well generate just a few to make sure you're getting the hang of it, not missing anything. After that, you can generate a lot. You want to generate 1,000 pages or 10,000? Do you want to generate 24,978? You know, however you want to do it is perfectly fine, really. Realize that Google won't necessarily index the pages as fast as you want it to, but that's just the way it goes. I'm doing 30 right now because I'm just making sure this comes out the right way. Now I'm done. All I had to do, therefore, was this and that. That's literally it. So let me save it. Let me close it. And just to remind you how easy step was, step one was in this case, once I knew what my keyword was going to be for the project, all I had to do was open load it, get it in there, just change this to whatever I wanted, change that to match, make sure I've got just 30, make sure it's check marked, save it, and close it. That was it. That's step one. That was step one. There are three steps. Step three is even easier. You just hit the button for the matching name. That's it. So what is step two? Step two is where we have to do the work we have to do. Let's go ahead and highlight the whole thing so we can use the drag arrow feature, double click. And what do we need to do? All right, var2, that's our keyword. So I'm just going to get rid of these, delete, shift cells up. Okay, don't shift cells left or it's going to pull everything over this way. You need to undo that. Don't make that mistake or you throw everything up. By the way, there is backups of everything inside the V1 folder. See that backup supporting files? That's a copy of all of these things that are here, except for the README. That, and when you're done with the README, you can get rid of it, drag it, whatever you want to do with it to get it out of your way. But don't touch the other files, leave them alone, you know, because the paths have to match, except for the README file. <laughs> all right. And so the backups are there. If you ever make a mistake, just go to the backup, copy whatever it is that you made the mistake on, come back here and just paste right over it and it's back to factory settings. Nice and simple. All right, I got rid of the old keywords. I need to put in the new. There it is. There they are. So that's really it. Copy them and just paste them in. Boom. There. I'm done with that. Now, this is the destination website. In our case, we have four. Let's put them in. Copy. And we need to do it without the HTTP colon slash slash, or else it's going to double up in the coding, actually. Sorry about that. forgot to tell you. Oops. All right, got it. So, like that, copy. We just did that for simplicity. I guess, you know, so much of one is so much of the other. 
hard to tell what's what. So we added our keywords, we added our websites. We can, you cannot do www dot in this case because that's what the Aditi resources dot replaces, okay? So there should not be a www dot here. That's just a misconception, but you can on, on regular, if this was just zekerewards.com, I could use the www dot or not. It's almost preference. As long as the link actually works, it's fine. All right, so I added my keywords. I added my, my um, URLs, and I could add as many as I want. I could make a whole sitemap going straight down here, the whole 112,000. If it was my website, I might even do that. <clears throat> what do we put in three? Uh, a dream keyword. It could be any one of these from your keyword list. It could be something else, but I'll just use one of those. You do not need dashes in this case. This is for the print on the page. That's why these do not have dashes anymore. Leave this alone unless you have a reason to manipulate it. That is, if you geo-target for like all of the cities in California or all of the cities in some other uh, state, geez, California's got a lot, like Georgia or Illinois, whatever you want, then you can get rid of all of these, you know, and you can just put in the ones you want or just get rid of everything you don't want. You know how that goes. Um, finally, in the backup as well, there is a cities with states list. That's different. And it's got the whole list of city-state combinations, 32,800 deep. That's pretty cool. All right, so you can copy from any of those and paste them in here instead of these. All right, the menu. Basically, leave it alone. What this is, how this works. You know, you can obviously want to change. You might want to change it because why not? Like Issaquah marketing doesn't mean anything to you. Seattle website marketing doesn't mean anything to you. Although, guess what? These are... These are placeholder websites. They are going to look like this. They are going to have the backlink that you want in the bottom, and they're going to be optimized all through the page for the exact same keywords as the backlinks. And that's cool for Google. <clears throat> it likes it because the page is about the same thing as the backlinks. But how many people do we need to see this page? None. How many people do we need to click that backlink? None. We don't care, and we never will, if people ever see this page at all. Most people are not going to see this page and call it spam if there's thousands of these either. You know why? Because the way they show up in Google, they're so clearly just about an article saying something like, when writing about this keyword, I need to generate an 800 to 1200 page article, blah, 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 blah. For Google, it's perfectly acceptable. You can have an article that's, that's optimizing keywords that says that kind of thing, and that's fine. That's why thousands of these pages on 25 websites I know about now uh, are up anywhere from 7,000. One of them has 45,000 that got indexed in 40 days. That's crazy, but that's perfectly fine. There could be 57 million pages like this out there that are all based on the exact same file here, literally with the same index page. So we don't really care what the menu links say. But if we wanted to care, especially if we wanted to go for keyword optimization, then we can do it. We can say something like this. This should be compensation plans. Paste. But now this is the links we're talking about, so you do need a dash. Now, the menu here includes the root. It's going to generate pages evenly throughout all these different folders and pages in the root. That's cool. It makes the site wide. What do I mean by that? Whoops. Let me show you on this again. If you missed before, <clears throat> these are the links. These are more links. These are more links. Okay. All together, there's like seven that are variable and three that are just completely static. They're just static pages. Uh, the ones that are variable, if I click, it tells me what the name of that subfolder is, what this is. And you can see what's happening here. This is the main domain. This is the name of the project that you created. And then inside that project is going to be all of these submenu links from all of these things here. Okay. And they're all going to be created at the same time in this one CSV file that we're creating now. All right. So if I want to change it, I can. But if I change it here, that's for where it generates all the pages. These are the links that point to those pages that show up on, on the page. And so see how this still says what this is? If I'm going to change it for the page productions, I have to change it on the page too. So make sure it matches. 
the short answer is this minus the root. The root needs to be there anyway. But this is the sum of this and these and those and that and that and that and that. And I believe that's it. Yep, that's the end of your work, by the way. Coming up with names for these folders, and that's if you want. You don't need to. The only reason you would do it is just to try to get some more keyword optimization in so that the backlinks count higher when you're done producing. And why not? That'd be really, really nice, wouldn't it? Because it just helps you get, again, I better replace spaces with dashes. <clears throat> that just helps you get higher page rank score all the way around. And what did I replace? I got to go back and look, actually. Seattle Website Marketing. So I need to replace it right here. Paste. Okay. As long as they match, it's perfect. The only other thing you need in the menu is the root. And that's just to get the pages produced in the root. Uh, if you do not include root, it'll just produce pages in the side menus, but it will not produce pages in the root. And again, that means for one of these things, that it would produce pages inside here, but there would not be a page here. There should be a page there. That's the top level. It's the root of that project. That's what that means, the root of the project. There should be a page here. It should not be a broken link. Okay. That's why we like to have the root involved. The only reason we might not use it is because we're doing more runs and we want more pages in one, two, three, four, these folders, whatever, but we don't want them in the root. Can you take some of these out? Yeah, I can uh, delete and shift cells up and just do menu links in one, two, three, four. So if I felt like putting a whole lot more pages into this binary compensation plan because it seems to be working, um, my page is ranking higher and the backlinks that I can find come from this page, then I can put a lot more pages right in there by just having this only in the menu and not having anything else, just that. What I cannot do is add new folders like, hi there, how are you, you know, um, <laughs> without having it here. Why? Because then we're going to have pages generated here, but they're useless because there will not be a link to them. There will be no way to reach that starting from the top page, the main page of the website. Delete, shift cells up there. Okay. That was all the work, by the way. The whole thing I just went over. The only other thing to know is that you can use brackets around the vars the way you see them here. Do not have any stray spaces. No space after the bracket. No space before the bracket. No space here. You know, no space here. Nothing like that. No space in the middle. <laughs> no spaces at all. Okay? But if you put a bracket, then when it goes producing these pages, it does something different from what it normally does. And that's it goes top, down, top, down, top, down, all the way. So this one with the brackets goes here, here, here. So one page after the next. The first one it creates will have that link. The next web page it creates will have that link. The next web page it creates will have that link. And if it needs to create another web page, it starts over and it goes again and again. That works differently from here. This goes, this is web page number one, web page number two, web page number three, web page number four. This is web page one, web page two, web page three, web page four. Notice how they wind up mixing and matching, which is also healthy. Because then you have all these categories, these pages interlinking with each other all throughout your site in different ways. That's healthy, actually, and that's perfectly fine. Your menus can do that. That's okay. It doesn't create more menu links. It just decides what the name of the link is supposed to be. Again, on here. If I'm on this page and I hit this link, it says, why choose this? That's because I was on that page. But it could have said, on, on another page, it could say binary compensation plan. And where could that page be? Literally this one. Instead of saying, why choose this? It could say binary compensation plan. Just depends on what I did with the run when I put the pages up. Okay, where is that really useful to you, especially? That's when you're trying to get keywords and websites to work out a certain way. 